Today we are going to do the chain pull. Uh, last time we did the string pull and did have a few difficulties, um, but it was successful in the end. I just want you to know though that I am not a professional artist, I'm a hobbyist. This is what I've just picked up during the pandemic shut-in and um, thought I'd share it with you. So I just want to show you the final result of the last with the string pull. This has got the resin on it. Remember I had mentioned there are different ways to finish your product. So this is resin. So this was all with the string. The issue that I had last time was there was too much black paint. Um, so I'm hoping I don't have as much paint on the canvas this time. I'm trying to live and learn. So that's how that came out. So just keep going at it. And for so we're going to use this as the chain. It's just um, like a lamp pull. We got these at Lowe's, pretty inexpensive. You could use old beads you've had, like, you know, costume jewelry beads or something like that. Um, I'm gonna do a little different. I'm hoping to do a feather. So I'm just kinda, you can lay it out ahead of time. I'm gonna pull it this way and go that way, and then pull it that way. Still same setup with the bin. And this time, last time we put the uh, paint in the pot of, um, the, the string in the pot of paint. This time we're going to lay it out um, and uh, do it a little different. This is a longer chain. I'm hoping to just use two chains. So just to talk about the paint, we, I got the white and the black are the ready mix artist loft and gray Arteza ready mix. <clears throat> I'm using the artist loft copper which is two parts Floetrol to one part copper. And then this, this I got, I've used it a couple times, you can tell. This I've got from Lowe's. Lowe's um, has in their paint store, they have um, uh, Miss, it's called, they're called Miss Tints. I keep forgetting and I call them Misfits. So this is your Misfit paint and um, it was only a dollar so that's pretty cool but it's not acrylic paint so I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be work okay we'll we'll try it so this one I mix just one on one one part of this paint because it's pretty looser um, to one pot flow trial so I hope hope that works out, works out <clears throat> so I'm hoping to do a feather I have to think Here's the other thing, cup of water. <laughs> you need a cup of water when you actually after you put your chain in the paint, don't think you're gonna put it wash them in the sink. So we learned the hard way. Um, the chain could slip through and go down your drain. Um, then you have another project. You have to fish out the, the chain and open your drain to get the chain. So I just do a cup of water and we'll pull the, ch the chain with the paint in the water and then use paper towels. Not going to make that mistake again in my house. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm laying out my chains. I'm going to have two little tails. I don't want paint on two ends. So if you could use two chains or three or four or however many you think you're going to need and we're just going to use two and I want to go this is the order I'm going to go black to copper to orange to gray I'm actually going to put my cup of water maybe over here <clears throat> all right and I can do two at a time two or a three or four so I'm going to do a couple of the black, and I'm going to do going for a feather, eagle feather, not eagle, hawk. Um, we have hawks in my yard, well, in the trees. They like to fly by, and um, 
I thought I'd try to replicate the feather a little bit. I don't know. So we're going to just keep going back and forth with the colors to the end. And then we'll let it sit. And that's a lot of paint. And then probably one more row. So happy fall, everybody. These are kind of fall like colors. So. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. And then this is the part that I got too much paint on before. So this time I'm just going to, uh, I hope I don't do too much. This is the pearly white paint. I'm trying to learn from last time. My, my furry friend is here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He feel, he hears his friend from across the street. All right, so hopefully that's not too much. I'm just kind of popping some of the bubbles. And we'll get the edges later. <clears throat> All right, so the... So if I'm going to do a feather, I want to lay them the same way. So we're going to do one, then the other. So it's in the paint. And I'm going to put it down like that. And I'm going to pull it this way. So that means when I do the other side, I'm going to pull it that way. So let's, fingers crossed. <laughs> now the gray's pretty, the gray's kind of losing. And look, that was still a little too much paint. And I'm just going to put that in the water. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> then this one, I want to put it down right next to where we were before, but this time I'm going to pull it this way. And some of the colors don't look dark enough, but... And put that in the water. And you can take, so I feel like that would be the, where the stem would come out, maybe. So I'm just going to get a little black on the tip. Kind of go like that. And maybe put some of the gold down below. Or whatever you have. Alright, 
Well, it needs a little bit more color. You don't really see the copper, but you get the idea. So that's how you do chain pulls. Um, and I hope you, I, I don't have my little cheat sheet, so BW, hashtag BWPL art on Instagram, or you can email me at rmamicos at salesinc.org. And don't forget to subscribe to the Bridgewater Public Library YouTube channel so we can keep doing this and we know if you, that you like it. Um, we have a lot more fun things stored up. Um, next video with Art I'm really excited about. We're going to be doing a collaboration with um, a fel uh, someone that with music and art and together and I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.